Welcome to Heftor Edition. So this is a little overview of uh, how to use the um, Polybar Editor that I've, that I've made, the Heftor Polybar Editor. So let's jump in and take a look at it. Um, I think I've got it here. Yeah, there it is. So here's some new update. So I've added an extra bar options here. So we've got our padding left and right. We've got our line size and line color so that we can work with. So let's take a look at that, shall we? So that's my config I'm working on and I'm running BSP Window Manager. So here we are. As you can see, the options change as I select. So if I go to Herb's Loft, you'll see a few options down here change. So they change on selection, so you can always change what needs to be changed. So here, if I, um, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see really well with the background color so what I'll do I'll go to a darker wallpaper uh, where are we let's go to that one so now you can see the uh, blue underscores so if I change that to say five and apply config, see now the big thick lines that you got under there, or we can disable it completely using the toggle on the side here, and that'll get rid of the lines altogether and you won't have anything. So I've got dual screens, so my uh, tray is currently on the other screen. But, uh, we can enable it, and I like it at around about two pixels. I will go OK. And here we've got uh, module margin right. So this is the spacing between the modules. So if I go module margin right, say 8 pixels, we should have big spacing there now. See how big the spacing is between the modules? So that's the spacing. So you can apply as you go, make changes and that kind of stuff if you want. Um, a lot of the see if we go here you can see they're disabled now like the way that works is it reads through the config you're currently on and finds the options that it looks for if they have that little colon there semicolon or whatever it's called they have that there that represents a comment in the uh, polybar config and uh, the comment means being disabled it means the uh, that option doesn't get read at all so in here if it finds that then all, all our toggle does is adds the colon at the start of the uh, command or the start of the option to uh, represent a uh, comment to disable it and then if you want to enable it you toggle it and click apply and that will be removed from it so that's how that works um, unfortunately you can't uh, click make a change click make a change and click make a change and then apply the whole thing it doesn't work that way so the way it works is when you click apply it'll read what's currently selected module right center or left so if module right selected it takes everything that you've been selected here and then adds them to the corresponding one so module right center or left and that's that's the one that gets edited uh, these options here are actually universal, so no matter where you are here, these will always be applied no matter what. So even if you make no changes, they still get reapplied anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so that's uh, how that works. And so the padding is... Uh, I can't remember what the padding does. Let's... Let's throw 10 pixels in padding left. See what that does. Oh yeah, that's just how how far from the edge it, edge it is. Yeah. So I like it having five, nice spacing. There you go, now you've got a smaller gap on the edge of the screen. So yeah, you can change anything you want. Uh, the color doesn't matter at this point because the color gets set um, per module, so the line color doesn't really matter on here because uh, the line color gets set.
per module. So if we come down here to CPU graph, you've got the format underline and it's got the color right there. Format underline is set by the foreground old color. So yeah, so the line color is pretty uh, derivative option at the moment. So it really shouldn't be added there to be honest, but I'll put it there just in case. So if you've gone through your own configs manually and got rid of all the um, underlying colors, so they're set by the base color, then uh, yeah, go for it. Change your color here if you want. And yeah, hopefully that uh, works out all right for you. But that's the basic overview of it. So here we're on the module right. Say I want my volume before Discord, then I'll just copy volume, get rid of it, move to the end paste put a space there between them and then click uh, apply and now we've got discords after the volume so that's how that works yeah it's pretty nifty so just like if you're editing it in the actual file you still have to manually apply where each one goes so I can't determine the order they're in so the order they'll be in will be determined on uh, when they're applied so if I add BSP window manager now that'll get applied to the end of the file as you can see everything gets appended to the end to which one's been added so that's how that works but I like to have discord at the end because it's my little menu apply there we go then you can click it open and close whichever you want so yeah that's how that works. So hopefully this has been informative and you understand how it all works. So we're not using radius at the moment, so I could probably disable that. Uh, border size is zero, so I'm not using that, so I can disable that as well. But yeah, just little things like that. These ones here can probably be disabled, but just the way it is. So hopefully this has been informative and uh, yeah, the new updates on the test repo. So install it have a play around configure your polybar and uh yeah let me know thanks for watching